It is October 3rd, 2022. It's Monday. I'm going to go over the markets I trade. So starting off with the S&P 500, there was one really good setup today going along here using the inside pitchfork trade. We'll just do that, do that, and what's that? I think magnet mode is on. Yeah, I know. All right. So you see it came up using this using the red metaphor, red semaphores right here. There's the first one second one then there's a third one so when that one forms we're just looking for price to break above the median line right here to close above it then our targets the blue line right there so you see bounced off there once then the second time went there and closed it very nicely this is about 5 50 in the morning and went up to the top for a really nice trade if you're up that early about 17 point trade unfortunately i was not so other than that that's really the main one the whole day the market's been been in pretty much a big uptrend ever since the uh day opened you can see this green line right here that's the 200 fibonacci extension level that as you can see there's been a lot of movement off of it let me just show you the one hour chart for it for where we're looking the um for the market to go up to I've been looking for ever since last week for the market to make a run up into the four four thousands low four thousands right up here that's the target we're looking for at the top of that green box right there and last week we had, we had that one good day but then it's pretty much down so today starting off with the update and the reason why we're looking for that is down here in the money flow index this is the indicator i use to see if the market's overbought or oversold uh you can see down here it has been oversold it's actually went down in there the last week came up for a second that update and then been down there ever since so definitely looking for a move up we got that today we'll see if there's any more follow through because look at last week we had that one day and then we had two down days and you can see it's hitting right off the 200 uh, Fibonacci extension level from it and that seems to be kind of like the anchor point for it when I'm looking at the um, the Fibonacci trade setup that I have and so yeah that's what I'm looking for the exit coming up here being the 61.8 at the low 4000s about 4006 4007 ish right up there going to the four hour chart you can see it's, it's as well coming off being oversold so there's definitely still a lot more room to run um, not just for our chart but especially in the daily chart for seeing a, seeing a small little rally happen up over here in the S&P 500. So that's what we're looking for going into tomorrow since there's a rally pretty much on the way up. The only thing you can look for is you can use the red semaphores if you want to. Um, and that would be the next one. What we're waiting for right now is price to come back down in here, close below the median line, and then the exit to be that blue line right there. Uh, it may not, you know, if this market really is taking off and rallying, it may retrace a little bit, but maybe use that support, maybe use the median line of support before going off again. But if it does close below it, then uh, the, the, the initial target we have will be the blue line. But that's neither here nor there. We're going to see uh, what's going to happen tomorrow in the market. And then going along to the Russell 2000 right here. This is a setup I talked about on Friday. This one actually did get in Sunday evening. You can see right about here. Ended up getting up on that bar. It didn't take all the way up to the potential exit, but got right in there. Then when it was selling off, I thought about getting it, get it back in over here, but actually I had my entry just back in over back in over here, and obviously that never got filled. But either way, uh, that was just one that, that was the trade I was looking for. It went over since last week using these red semaphores right here that one that one and that one price came had the initial breakout close right there so that was the initial entry is the blue line but since price came and i'll just put that right on here you see this low right here since price came broke below that low didn't have to close it but did break below it uh, that is enough for me where I move the entry back to where the initial breakout was, which is there, just get, just to get out of it. It looks like it, it is probably going to run up and hit uh, the line up here, but that's just the kind of the kind of the the way I use this this setup to trade since it did break that previous low right down here using that red stimulus for I move I move the exit to the um, to the uh, where, where it broke out. So that, that's where it ended up, uh, and it ended up being a, a really nice trade. But that one is done now, so we can put that one away. And then there was another trade, another long setup using this one. And that one, but again, that was another early morning one. It had the initial breakout at, at 12.50 a.m. Central Standard Time. Came out and he hit that about 4.35 in the morning for a small little game. And then I see it bounced off of the... Um, that the 0.382 Fibonacci level for using the inside pitchfork and it's been on a tear 
ever since from today. So going into tomorrow, just like the SP 500, the one major setup using the red semaphores we'll be looking for um, is it to see if it's going to break below, close below the median line right here. Then the exit would be the blue line right there. Um, so that's that. Going over to oil right here. Oil had a nice uh, rebound day off of it. And actually, let me show you this one hour trade setup right here. This one is now complete. <clears throat> let me show you why. So drawing, what I do is I draw when there's a red semaphore, we'll just, let's ignore, let's say like this stuff hasn't been formed yet. So what I do is I use the latest red semaphore, which is that one. And I just start drawing it down. So price came up, hit that 38. Um, the target's down here at the one point one point one four six uh, but since it never came back and hit the 68 percent then the exit gets moved to the 50 so you see that one's done so they have to wait for a break lower and there's a break lower down there there's another one down there and there's a red semaphore but what happened was the red semaphore doesn't form immediately when the low's in because it's just a algorithm a, an indicator for it so it's it's a lagging indicator it doesn't it doesn't tell you exactly when the low is so this red semaphore did not form until somewhere over here in this area when this trade setup had already been started so it initially gets started it hits 38 and the exit is down here at the 1.146 and so that's what i was saying going into this week if there's going to be a sell-off in oil we're looking down here down to about the 74 dollar mark that did not happen and instead, price went up, barely ticked the 61.8, but that is good enough for us to move um, the uh, exit over and we move it over to the 50%. And so there it went and got hit. So then what we do is now that we got this red semaphore, the long setup going on right here, we just keep on drawing it down to the low. Excuse me. Down to the low, uh, or excuse me, to the high. So it came down hit that one got that one out of there let's see what the next hit is nope not there right there hit the 38 hit the 50 but did not hit the 61.8 so the exit is up here so went up and completed that one today so we just draw it to the next one we rate we wait for price to come back and hit the 38.8 to hit the, the 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level and that's gonna be moving up to the next one and then looking for the use the inside pitchfork trade that that and that there was another nice setup for this one right here it initiated here at about 11 a.m right here unfortunately i was not in front of my computer uh came up and almost took it out right there that would have been if you if you had the exit right there another dollar fifty 150 ticks in the oil market but didn't quite hit it it's kept on going back down did not break the low down here so that's still the blue line but eventually came up and hit that blue line uh, right up there so that trade is done right there for that long one so the next one we are looking for right now is just like the s p 500 and the russell 2000 using the inside pitchfork trade is going to be a short setup where we're looking for price to break down below the red line right there close below it then the x is going to be the blue line but um, we also have this one going on right here we're looking for this one to come come in and get hit and for another move potentially um moving moving on up for um oil but excuse me that is also in the one hour chart and i don't do the inside pitchfork, pitchfork normally in the one hour chart so sorry about that but going forward uh here's a five minute chart for it you can use the um fibonacci setup on this one that one came up and got hit and then this is actually one in it right now so we'll go ahead and we'll get rid of the hourly long one and i'll draw the green box that kind of helps recognize from for myself where the target's supposed to be targets going up there right now at 1.146 so if this one continues to go up and hit it then that's the target we're looking for 85 dollars and 36 cents for it uh, but if not, the next entry area would be the 61.8, and then the last entry area is the 88.6. If it does go down all the way to 88.6, and the exit goes to the um, 61.8, and then I wouldn't be looking to get in or add to it until all the way down here at 73.73, .73, and the exit still would still remain up at the 61.8. But that's typically the worst case scenario, as we talked about in a couple of the other charts. And then move forward uh, as well using the inside pitchfork. Let's see, this one may already be complete. Nope, it hasn't been completed yet for a short setup for us. This is actually a good setup to get in as far as risk, re risk reward goes because price has not broken out of, I'm going to get this out of the way here. 
the price hasn't broken this high. When it does break the high, the target's going to move back down to right here where the initial breakout was right there. That's about, what is that? $82.61 and it's not going to move. But um, the exit we are looking for is the blue line uh, right here currently. So price is at it's at $83.28. If so there's not a big pop up here pretty pretty recently, then I expect a little little, bit, little sell off for it to come down here and hit, hit the blue line before the market opens uh, sometime. Um, well, it will be open, but before the major U.S. trading sessions begin at 8.30 a.m. Central Standard Time for it to at least come down and hit the blue line for um, that trade right there. So currently, this is a live setup. What I'll probably do, because the market can't trade between, see down here, between 4 and 5 p.m., I'll probably just wait until it opens up right at 5, and I'll probably have a, an entry right up here because sometimes you'll get like a pop-up real fast and just try to get those couple extra ticks in there and then, um, you know, have the exit be the blue line uh, down in here for that one um, for it. So that's oil going into tomorrow. Lastly, the Dow Jones. Uh, let me stop real quick. We go to the 4-hour, oversold, overbought, middle of nowhere. Daily oversold, overbought. Never really made it to the oversold territory, so kind of still in the overbought, oversold. Dow Jones, just like SP500 and the Russell 2000, completely oversold, so still looking for really that thing to come out of it. In the daily chart, in the four hour chart, just like the other two as well, coming out of being um, oversold. And so what we're looking for is the the um, exit to be this is the Fibonacci trade that never got filled you see again using the 200 line as the support line looking for price to come up to 71 732 at least from right there from this current move for this one to be complete now price of course can go higher than that but that's the that's the area from this trade setup they're looking for it for it to um come back down there is a long setup that is happening i'm not sure if it's already filled yet doing the uh inside pitchfork one Okay, no, it hasn't even it hasn't even been initiated. So when price closes above the red median line right here, then the exit is going to be this blue line um, right there using the one hour chart. Going over to the five hour chart, uh, this this one's definitely done. I'll just put it up here anyway. Here's the inside pitchfork. You can see there's resistance. There's the close above it. That was about 5:20 in the morning, and then came up there and um, hit it for a nice nice. Nice trade, and then just like SP500 and Russell 2000, I know it kind of sounds like a broken record, but all the markets are moving pretty synergistically right now. They basically all have the same setups. Is we're just seeing if there's going to be a retracement, come back down to here if it closes below it, but the median line, then the then the uh, exit is the blue line right down there, and then looking at the let's see this here real quick, going back to this side, and so the reason why I put this on because probably more than likely even though I'm probably going to take it off just because this one's already formed because I just there's no way for me to go back and see when this 38% uh, line was hit right here if the 38 line percent was hit without this red one being formed right here then we have a, a really good setup to um, short it back here to 29 201 because you see price hit the 38 and when does that the exit I'm looking for is a 1.146 down here but since that didn't happen, price went up and then hit the 61.8 here, then the exit becomes the 50%. But as you can see, that did not happen either. So then finally, when price came up here and hit the 88.6, the exit moves back to the 61.8. So that'd be what we're looking for, for that to be the exit from this trade right here. But I'm just not sure when this red one was formed. Because if this red one, red one was formed before, price hit the 38% right there, then it's null and void. But if it was formed after, then yes, this is a live trade. But unfortunately, I just do not know. So we'll just go the other way with it because there's obviously nothing formed up here. But we're just waiting for a retracement to come back over, over there as well. So those are the markets today. I'm, I am looking for more movement to the upside finally to come through. We'll see if it actually happens this week. It has gone last week, but it didn't. So we'll see. The market still is oversold. So we're looking for those targets that we mentioned about earlier. So talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.